played Tentacru, you haven't? Set me to class. Not in the bar. Bar. We want bar, I think. I want original. Auto fixes it for you. In game? What, auto? Fixes it for me in the game? Okay. Alright, let's go. Bonus. What's in the bonus? Developer's commentary would be fun. Let's check out some concept art. Locked! What you, you, you blocking me? I played this game in the 90s. Ready? Alright, let's do full screen then. Yes, in the bar. In game with classic controls is 4-3. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll, okay, we'll change it when we get in the game. Okay, cool. No, I don't want developer commentary. Oh, so good. Perfect. I remember watching this scene back in the day. It's so awesome. It's got a. I, I feel it looks even better than Sam and Max. Mm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I don't think you should drink that. Strip that toxic waste. Me too, Ronson. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. Nice new board. I feel like I could. This part's great. I feel like I could. <laughs> like I could. <laughs> Classic scene. It gets arms. Toxic Waste gave him arms. These are characters from the first game. The tentacles. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the bad lover. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. <laughs> Bite the head off the hamster. hamster. <laughs> Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. It's interesting that they only brought back Bernard and the tentacles. They didn't bring back any of the other kids. Then they invented two new ones. These scenes are so great. They're so incredible, especially back in the 90s. 93. This animation, the, the sound. So good. That's why I still like the classic graphics. Yeah, you can toggle graphic modes. But I'm just gonna play with classic. Because I think the classic graphics look perfect. Ever played Seventh Guest? Yeah, not on stream though. Not on stream. I played Eleventh Hour on stream. Aren't it dangerous, Barrett Preston? Is that the LucasArts shooter? You fancy Laverne hold your fire? Laverne fan? But Laverne's cool, she's just a little nuts. I mean, I like Hoagie. Because I like. Like, look at that. That's... that effect. Um, I like Hoagie because I love meatball hoagies. Meatball subs. Right, it's like a cartoon, New Romantic. Same with Full Throttle. I mean, Sam and Max is like... a preview to how good Full Throttle and this game looked. It does more of like the, uh, I don't know what the scene is, but like the zoom-ins. The zoom-ins and whatnot. Pretty awesome. You have me in classic graphics? Probably. Probably pixelize the webcam. Go for a meatball hoagie. I feel kind of sick because I ate those soft pretzel for lunch. It was a bad choice. When I have chicken and hummus waiting in the fridge, I ate a. I ate a uh... Thanks for the follow, wolf. The cow. <laughs> I made a bad lunch choice and now I feel bad for it. 
Alright, we made it back to the mansion from Maniac Mansion. Tim Schaefer, man of the people, replied to one of my tweets. What a he's what a okay, guy. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. Now let me try. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Uh, I know how to play the game. Space, backspace skip cutscene. Hoagie Bernard Laverne. Dialogue selection. Skip dialogue, period. Shift object highlight. You don't use that. Escape open menu. F1 switch render mode. Enter confirm. Dunk. We're dunking right now. Can I, if I make this bigger, will it make it look better on the, in the, I think it will. It'll look better for me. We're never using widescreen. We're not even going to look at it once this whole playthrough. Okay, now let me fix it for for you. Yeah, we're not using it once. We're never we're never even going to look at them. We're not going to look at what the graphics look like. Yeah, I played Maniac Mansion as a kid. I haven't played it recently. I know you can play it in this game. This game brings back a lot of memories for me, too. Here's gum with a dime stuck in it. I forget how to get it. It's stuck to the floor. You need some kind of an item. There's a flyer over here. Yeah, it's just pure nostalgia for me. I'm just playing this because of nostalgia. Inks. They remastered the voices and music. Yeah, I think so, but I, I turned it all off. I turned all that off. This is classic OG all the way. Let's turn down the music a little bit. And maybe sound effects, too. Leave the voices up. How to play, excuse me. Continue, oh I got some new things. Resume game. Dunk. We are dunking. <laughs> hey Chaos Com. Object Kyle, that's for fools. Yeah, get dunked game. We're gonna dunk this game together. Look at it. A horticultural horror. Oh gee, no remaster. Use the bell. This is great. No one's showing up. Now, I remember maybe fake bar from the ceiling. I think I remember how to get that. I remember maybe one third of this game of the puzzles from when I played it on Vita. That's about it. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. That was like a year or two ago. There's something out outside though, maybe. Pick up the help wanted sign. Look out the window. Someone's breaking into a car out there. Hopefully it's not our car. Is it, a, is it our car? Just a peek? Fine. It looks disgusting. There's no hard edges. Ew, I'm gonna throw up. That's much better. Oh, you can still play it in not widescreen with these graphics. All right, we'll use these graphics. Just kidding. No, uh, no. Ew, I don't want the game to look like a modern lame. You never played this, but endless people talking about it. Oh, it's one of the best adventure games, without a doubt. Chuck the plant is here. It was just such a cool idea. The Vern's covering that territory. That they went back to the mansion, but like really changed the game's style. There's a dime in the um. 1952. Phone a 1952 dime. This game was so good. Office door. Go in the office. Let's slam dunk in the office. Is F1 for changing graphics? Yes. Let me catch a punch, chat. All your friends hype this. It's a great game. Swiss bank book. We need that. <laughs> Inventory transfer is a pain. That's the only thing I remember being a pain, Avian. But I'm not gonna let that scare me off, you know? In this drawer is some boo-boo be gone. Man, we are slam dunking. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. White out. White out. Do people still use white out? Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Dr. Fred's got no money. 1952. 1952 coin. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working, moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. <laughs> but what's the flyer? It's from George's Hardware. George Washington. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. 
For me, Americans should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. There's a lot. This game's got good puzzles too because of the time travel stuff. He always checks the minting year, this Bernard guy. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. No spoilers. Okay, I'll try not to spoil parts that I remember about the game, but I don't remember everything, so there still should be fun to play. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Let's pick up the phone. I don't have anyone to call. Let's use the phone. I don't have anyone to call. Let's open the portrait. You had 99 buffalo wings and skins. Is that a is that a is that a restaurant name or you literally had 99 buffalo wings and 99 skins? Mmm, I love skins. Potato skins, a herringstone. I used to love those. I used to eat those all the time. You call a vacuum cleaner a Hoover? <laughs> He's called a Hoover. <laughs> hey, yeah, we're playing Day of the Tentacle now. Yeah, the, the I followed the poll. People can never say I don't follow polls any anymore. Let's look at this safe. Still, still call it a Hoover. The safe is closed. Well, let's open it. I don't know the combination. We need to get the combination. Darth Vader poster. The abstract style wow, of the environment. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Is awesome too in this game. Like the room is just like all stretched out. Take the calendar. I have three just like it at home. Three. Look at it wow, again. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Star War. I've seen that. Ninety Nine's a restaurant. Okay, I never heard of it. He's smiling at the camera. <laughs> Always make sure they get your good side. We should play Maniac Mansion. What if we played the entirety of Maniac Mansion in this game? That would be ridiculous. Always try to open the pictures or, or get behind it and stick your eyes in. Right? Were they good potato skins, Herringstone? Potato skins are the best chips. They have bacon and cheese on them. Look at this chair. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Bernard, it's not Star Trek. He doesn't know that that's from the Star War. Laverne's covering that territory. Laverne's in there. Hoagie's upstairs. Who's this a picture of? It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. Ronald Reagan? No, 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 no. Hoagie's up here. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Games within games. What if there was a game in, in the game? Another game. You only follow the polls if the result is what I wanted. This is the result I wanted. I want to get this out of the way. I want to replay ah, this. A secret passage. This is all too easy. Vicky, Maniac Mansion is totally scary. As a kid, it's. I think it's kind of even creepy now. When you get captured by the uh, brother and the and the mom. Laverne, how'd creepy. you get upstairs? It's supposed to be like a B-Hard movie. Am I upstairs? I got lost. Hey, John. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. There's Dr. Fred. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. What's that? Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did Can you say Bernard? Gameplay Hero, thanks for the 95 bits. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. Way to go, Bernard, you doof. <laughs> hi, hi, John. How you doing, Wait. John? Herringstone, oh, did you get a bird yeah. mouth? Now I remember. Ew, look at... He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Ew! Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. <laughs> the green and purple tentacles. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Such creative characters. Leaping lab rats! Hi, Paige. Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk test? Yes, now, I played Zack. Now, purple tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Here's the twist. Yesterday. What? Yesterday? The time machine. Time machine? What? We're going back in time? It's porta potties. This is all your fault, Bernard. Me too, Paige. Behold, children. The Chronogen! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? 
<laughs> no, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. <laughs> Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> this part's so good. Uh, hey Zordon. And Paige and... Hello. Flip Cider, well, what's up Flip Cider? Just played it for the first time. I haven't played this full game probably Bernard, since the 90s. Float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. <laughs> this 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 intro is like one of the best in any game. I don't know. There's Nurse Edna. Nurse Edna from Manic Mansion. <laughs> Old purple tentacle. <laughs> Going through we time. May not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It's got it works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> these, these scenes are classic too. Hoagie's just having fun. Better than Sam and Max? I think so. I think it's a little better. <laughs> it falls out. <laughs> so he's in the past. The Vern's in the future. Did you like it, Flipsider? And then Bernard comes back to the present. <laughs> but he got flushed. Cheap mail order jewels! What happened to Hokie and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now so what good. am I going to do? You liked it, Flip Cider? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. You need to find plans. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Was Dr. Fred Blue in the original Maniac Mansion? Uh, it, yeah, great memories, John. This is very nostalgic. This is one of my favorite games as a kid, for sure. I don't remember every puzzle directly. I remember gen general ideas of puzzles. So we've got to find the plans. I know where they are. Hey, Thorin. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. The plans are like right over here, I think. Or there. What's this paper? It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. Yeah, it's right here. It's capable. I've got the plans. <laughs> Quick, we have to flash And he just appears Hoagie. behind you instead of... How did you get over there? <laughs> this game's just goofy. But really cool. My hey, Bros. genius super battery design, please. <laughs> you can flush it. You really flush them. Two other times. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time! <laughs> Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydronic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogon, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Dr. Fred, can to you hear me? How to get her out of that tree. Drat. Did you hear something? 
He was blue. No, let's see if what's his name catches on. Oh yeah, Hoagie's me for sure, Paige. There's part there's part of Hoagie in all oh, of us. Oh great, I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. <laughs> Hoagie, come over here. It's your old pal, Doctor Fred. Doctor Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the Chronogon, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your Chronogon. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Just so Time many for me to save the world, I guess. So many clever ideas. Just tons of clever ideas. Must have been uh, a lot of fun to, des to design this game. Uh, how do I save? What is the save? What's the quick save? Start. Oh, okay. 3% done already. Hey, Richard. Hi, everyone that came in during the opening cutscene. Hello. 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 This is this is already fun to stream. I'm glad that the poll... The poll gave us this game. I followed the poll, so we have to figure out how to plug it in. But you can switch between two characters here. We gotta go find Red Edison Kumquat Tree. Okay, I'm remembering... Some few tough puzzles. No way could I pick that up. Yeah, I'm gonna see how many I remember. Or how many we can figure out. But I have played this game multiple times as a kid. Definitely. Huh. Multiple, this door appears multiple, to be locked. Multiple times. 3% height. The original Maniac Mansion is cool. It does have a pretty sick soundtrack. Mean whilst. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Betsy Flag Ross. design changes every five minutes. <laughs> These different flags. As soon designs. as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. They, it just seems like they really had fun with this game. Like different weird flag designs, and there's a lot of. Cre it's so creative. The art is great. Everything about this game is creative. You know, two new characters, and you're switching between three characters through different time periods and solving puzzles between them, which is pretty awesome. This is the one game you remember every puzzle. Really, every puzzle. Hey, Edgewinked. Let's talk to my boy, Ben. Hi there, mister. Franklin! Ben Franklin! My boy, so Ben! known as the inventor of electricity! Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. <laughs> Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. <laughs> it's the way I can't spinning believe he talks. Washington and Jefferson picked his in of all places to write our Constitution. Okay. Hey, DK. The art is great. Would have liked to see more characters from the first game. Me too. That was one thing when this game came out. I wish there were more of the characters from the first game, but Bernard is probably the best one. Uh, who were the, what were all the Maniac Mansion characters? If you like Maniac Mansion, there's like this ripoff game, which, which almost uses like the same, which I think ripped off its graphics. Sid was cool, and I'm not sure if that would be worth playing or not just because it's such a ripoff. There was Dave. Hey, okay, the sound is messing up because I left the window. There was Dave. It would have been cool to see Dave, Sid, Michael. He was like the college newspaper guy. Wendy, Bernard, Razor, and Jeff. Probably my favorite characters. Oh, yeah, here's Dr. Fred and Edna. Yeah, they're so creepy when Edna or Ed would catch you. And there's Ted the mummy. Here's the tentacles. Mark, Eater, Meter. Oh, I'm kind of sorry if I'm spoiling. Uh, I would have liked to see maybe a... I mean, Dave is kind of like... Ho I mean, Jeff is kind of like Hoagie. It would have been cool to have all of them in the game. Like, making a, an appearance. Maybe they do, and I never noticed. <laughs> hey, Bolo. His voice is punchable. He was... This guy's voice was in Sam and Max. Shouldn't you say, 
the discoverer You're a Razor of fan, Anne. Razor's cool. You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. <laughs> you are truly whacked, Ben. Huh. That's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. That was you. Wasn't that you? Good point. Guess they were right. You think Ben Franklin was a time traveler? How else would you invent all that stuff? It's weird that they aren't blue. They should be blue. You're right. Edwin? Who Edwin? I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? So, where's this Red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. I think it becomes pretty obvious that you need to use this electricity to use uh, do something with the battery. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not why bad. Why don't they just flush him the battery? Maybe it wouldn't fit in the flush hole. Razor and Hoagie in the same band? I don't know. I don't know, actually don't know the story of Hoagie. I need Red to help me save humanity. <laughs> They'd make Razor's oh, boobs smaller to remake. Now, eh? And everyone well, would be happy. why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. What's so bad about Red? Yeah, the spit, Nermantic. What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane. It's everything. And he steals a left other people's hammer. inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent. <laughs> it's like not Thomas that Edison. I'm bitter. Well, see ya. It's just creativity in every nook and cranny of this game. He starts with a can opener, a patent application. We need gold, we need croutons. Hey, bah, you got any? Oil, vinegar, and lettuce. <laughs> it's like a salad, super salad battery. It's ridiculous. It's the battery plans I'm supposed to get. Slam dunk. Say it, don't spray it, Ben. We owe it up here. This game would be called Un-American? Nah, it's just having fun with history, I don't think so. I don't know. Walk to the carriage, okay. As I look at each thing, I'm remembering what you do. A it's little bit totally more. covered with crap. Remembering a little bit more about what you do. Let's open that box. It's closed. Open. Takey. Take your letter. What letter say? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Use mailbox flag. You gotta put. Whoa! Pony Express. Woohoo, the Pony Express. You gotta mail something. I don't remember what, but I know you gotta mail something. The lettuce isn't inanimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. It's not. What? No. It's the battery plant mm -hmm. I'm supposed to get. No. Alright, this is the mansion, but 200 years in the past. Here's a mummy. He's a slam dunk. What's up? What's up? Ugh, what's Don't up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? What's up? Well, what's that's up? cool. What's up? Spent ages as a kid trying to pause on the frame. Oh, to get the, uh, to see the pony? I have something for Red Edison. Lefties need hammers, too. I know. Benjamin Franklin's a handist. Do you know where I could find him? I don't think I ever got to the puzzles that were really nuts. Uh, in my replay. I've beaten the game as a kid a lot. Great hat, man. I don't remember it because I'm so old. I dig the three corner idea. You got croutons for everyone. Slam dunk. I like how they just have so much dialogue of him talking to a mummy. <laughs> it's like the pyramids, you know? A remade Maniac Mansion with this style and then remastered music from the nest would be neat. I think someone, there was a German group of uh, people from Germany making like a Maniac Mansion 2. I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energy. <laughs> Gotta mail a letter to Marty McFly. <laughs> Whoa. What's in Baltimore? Well, um, nice talking to you, dude. I don't know, science stuff? <laughs> nice talking to you. Science stuff? Edge winked. Well, I got croutons, but do you have pepperoncinis? Let's go into this. Let's just go out in the kitchen. Immediately. Swinging door. Let's pick up the oil. 
Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Raw pasta eater? Any raw pasta eaters in the chat? I can't open it. Because, uh, that's a little weird. Look at the pump. Bitchin'. <laughs> Bitchin'. Bitchin' water pump. Use the pump. Use the water pump with spaghetti. I don't wanna. We need to get a- We need to get a pot. Slam dunk it into the closet. Pick up this bucket. What do we got on the edge here? Stop showing me a modern save icon. I don't want to see it. I want this to be all original. Don't autosave. We should turn off autosave so we get the original experience. Sorry to bring up Nancy Drew. Those games ever go for sale in a model? Yes. They typically go on sale and you can get like every game for cheap. I think that every game was something like 50, 60, 70 dollars in the last uh, sale, but I didn't, I didn't want to pull the trigger on all of them, so I only bought like six. Yo, 8 Owl. Yeah, I'm so glad we're playing this. I know it's played on Twitch a bunch, but I actually don't care. I really wanted to play this really badly, so I'm glad we're doing it. Germany set their second maniac man mansion pot in Argentina. Get this out of here! Paige, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much for Hoagie. For a Hoagie and for Hoagie. Butt crack. The Baltimore Aquarium's there. You've nibbled on raw pasta. I've done it. I've done it, but I wouldn't do it again. You used to eat raw ramen as a rice cake. Snort the seasoning for dessert. Snort the seasoning? I mean, it's just a different way of eating, I guess, but it's not something I, I think I would like to try. Yeah, anyone want a ban for admitting to eat pasta? Watch this. Bucket with water pump. Slam dunk water in the bucket! Hey, Mayor. You don't wanna is the best denial in point and click game. Mm -hmm. Use brush with bucket Nothing full of water. Clean in here. soap. No, I've done it before in the past, but... But you, you try it once and then you realize never eat it again. It'll be a speed run to some degree, because I do remember some of this. Here's George Washington, here's Tommy Jefferson, and here's John Hancock. Let's pick up this gold quill pen. Hey, keep your hands off that! We need that for the battery. Let's pick up the Constitution in progress. You can look, but don't touch! Yeah, auto save sucks. Not sure if Otacon's in Baltimore, it might be. Paige, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you very much. Trying to sew off a gun. I don't, I don't, I'm actually, I don't own any guns. Look in the fireplace. Bitchin'. Can we go in the fireplace? Yeah. Up the chimney. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Sorry. You love that it's a single giant drop. <laughs> Why is this? You can do it. This graphics, just get, get this disc out of here. All right. We're about to turn that off. About to turn autosave off. Autosave is for punks. Can we turn it off? Let's go full OG. You can't even turn off autosave? That that's horrifying. That har that's horrifying to me. What's quick save? No quick save? You can't turn off autosave! You're taking me out of my OG experience. I'm gonna about to tweet to Tim Schaefer. Look at that pulley. It's one of those pulley things. Yeah, autosave would be a- it does show a floppy disk, but it's all smoothed out. Return of the Tentacle fan game on itchy- on kakmikitch.io? What is kakmik- katmikitch.io? Oh, is that the developer? Katmik? There's a fan game? Uh, it's a prologue. Is a fan project, an unofficial sequel. How are they getting away with doing this, aren't they? Purple Tentacles back, Laverne, Hoagie, and Bernard hunt down the tentacles again. That's neat. Seems illegal. We should tip Tim Schaefer off to that so he can it's already open. So he can shut it down. <laughs> this is how he goes through. <laughs> I don't have any guns. No, I don't own guns. If anybody wants to rob my house, you won't get shot. Wink, wink. You will get shot. You get a shot from these 22-inch pythons, brother. What if you don't have local storage? You're saving over a metered inter connection, internet connection. Exactly. It's not fair. It's not fair that I can't turn off auto save. Let's pick up this cat. I'm not no, a... I'm no, I am not an, an autosavist. I am a retro gamer. Retro all only. Retro for life. This, the Samson and I have been retro. It's on Steam. Zero out of ten. Can't turn off autosave. If you're saving to a five and a quarter inch single-sided floppy disk, what if? 
Let's use Ned's bed. Let's use Ned's bed. <laughs> Squeaky, get the mouse. Give me that. Yip. Yip. What you got, Ed? What you got? You nice. And art. And art. Make it bigger. And art. Time to take over the world. That's sick with the lightning bolts around the bolts around. Thank you, Anne. That's amazing. Number one Twitch artist. One of them anyway. Anne K, one of the number one Twitch artists. It's 20 specific Nancy Drews for 70 pounds. And they'll probably go... The thing that, that sucks about Nancy Drew games on Steam is I don't know if they actually put all of them in a bundle. They have a bunch of littler bundles. Instead of just putting all of them in a bundle, it's annoying. So you have to like look through each individual bundle to see which ones you're getting. I, I remember having a problem with that. It's very cool, Anne. Well, not all companies are buttholes like Nintendo. Yeah, I know I'm just playing around. It's cool that that it's cool that that is allowed to exist. Spider Facts, what's up? Day nine of Spider Facts. I'm a musically inclined fellow. Yes. Did I know that spiders can play their web like a musician plays a guitar? It's true. Spiders precisely adjust the length, thickness, and tension of each strand in their web and strum them with their legs. Researchers think they might do this to locate the exact position of things that land on their web. Wow, that's really neat. They use music on their webs. That's a great spider fact. But is it really day nine? That's an awesome spider fact. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I remember what you have to do. You have to like set up some sort of cuckoo situation so it constantly squeaks. Clunk. Can I pick up the mattress? I forget. Where am I gonna put I think you gotta do some kind of cuckoo situation. Can we open up this trap door? It's closed. I am a real... Okay, we're going to the oopsters. Oopsters. I hate the verbs. Ah. Give me your glass. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. How do you... Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. <laughs> Mr. Red. He's a talking horse. Uh, hi, horsey. That awesome, Ann. The scene's yourself. printing. You'll get your issue. I can't wait, Anne. Thank you. I can't wait to read it. I've never read one of your zines. That would be awesome. Anne is an amazing zine creator and artist. If you guys don't know Anne, shout out. Awesome. Sounds cool. There's no full bundle confirmed. Yeah, what the heck, Vicky? It's that's like her interactive. I hate. They're trying to nickel and dime you. You know. It's annoying. They're made by different companies. Fine. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, we have to get different teeth for him. I didn't think horses could talk. Herb. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. No, I think there's that. more than two bundles, you mean Taco. Horses have been snubbing me my whole life. It's like four uh, or five. You put it that way. All horses can talk. But yeah, spiders are like Jimi Hendrix. They play the web with their feet. Nice job, brother. <laughs> Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. No, no, I'm no. Just a horse. I thought all the uh, Nancy Drew games were all her interactive. No, no, no. A fifty Hulk alert day. I took away. I took off. I turned off Hulk alerts. Now I just have Gabe alerts. Nice teeth. Thanks. You're looking at summer I paid 2012. Quite a bit for them. It was 20 games, but there's 38 Nancy Drew games. Right. It's annoying. See two bundles. I'm pretty sure I saw more than two, but did I mention how great? And they're hard to look? find. They're hard to find the bundles. Thanks again. It's weird. It's kind. Of, it's weird. It was weird. Did I mention how great your? Thanks. It was weird. It's weird what they do with bundles. What's a nice horse? There could only be two. I don't know. In a place like this. Hey, I live here. I swear to God, there was like a bunch of weird bundles that only had like later. that only had like four games in them. So we got to get that horse's teeth or something. Who are these bros? Twins. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. No more Vuzel? We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? No, we can leave a Vuzel in there. Even our dear father can't tell us apart. 
He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Are these the Edison sons? Red Edison sons? Hold still, Jed. Now he's right-handed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or are the they, model? Is this the original voice? I should be. We can turn a boozle back on. We're just using a uh, Gabe for now. But a boozle's a pretty solid alert. We can turn that back on. I'm the model. <laughs> I'm no. <laughs> These are funny lines. Game amulet thrust. Okay, I've got to remember to do that. Th you're right. It would. Gabe amulet thrust. I do need to redo and updates, alerts, and bit FX and stuff like that. We definitely need a Gabe amulet thrust. What pull. is up, everyone? Eggs! Thank you for the 300 plus 30 bits since you used the subway emote for September until September 24th. If you use the subway cheer emote, streamer gets an extra 10%. Thank you, Inks. For the 300 bits, thank you very much. There's five bundles. Yeah, see, there's weird bundles. There's weird bundles with the bundles on the steam and the bundles and the... What the bundles and the cockroach and the Rudy. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> no. Thank you, Inks. No, you most definitely should yeah, not. A voozle. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway. No, we should do. we cemented two slabs of marble together. <laughs> but then your statue would have a big should... seam in it. <laughs> That's okay. It would have one anyway. Because <laughs> of his butt Look, crack. Don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I should record every instance of, uh. Every instance of. Of John Riz Davies saying, Ya, yeah, a voozle. And <laughs> just use all those as all the alerts. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> just every single alert is just. Because he says it like, what, like 10 times? Yeah, a person. Gonna take a lunch break. Gonna take a nap. All right, Avian. Thanks for watching. There's a collector pack. That twenty is just annoying. I wish there was an Nancy Drew humble bundle. Yeah, the pri they they get they get annoying with the pricing. But I think it's because that company doesn't do too well. That's what I heard. Vitamune. They're good games. I don't mind paying like six dollars each. I mean, I think that's still worth it. Something like that or get them on sale. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Do I match my shirt to the background? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. No, I actually just forgot to change the background for a while. We can, we can update the background, good idea. Let's update it to... Triangles. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. Does September seem like the shortest month? It seems like it's short, it's already the 11th. It's already September 11th, my favorite day of the year. I can't believe TwitchCon is in two weeks. It's like scaring me. I think I'm gonna cancel. What kind of people? I don't wanna fly across the country. Big dumb people. Stay home. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my Leave life. Leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. <laughs> Where you're from. This month is going Where really exactly fast. exactly did you come from? Uh, they used the original and cleaned them up. Oh, so they don't even let you listen to the old ones? Where did I come from? The future, baby. The future. Bring back File.io. We could bring them all back. They still exist. I didn't delete them. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? I just disabled Ooh, them. Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. <laughs> Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Because I like to update this. I try to update the stream. Sorry. Hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Mm-hmm. They're all the packs are missing games. Yo, what's up, PMC? I'm the Nancy Drew. Your bro's birthday is 9-11. Oh, I think my brother got married on 9-11 too, because it was like cheaper at the time. Pick up. I think he bopped me with the hammer. <laughs> he bopped me with the hammer. You have to uh have to swap out that hammer. I don't think we can do any Jed Edison and Ned Edison. Let me talk to Jed. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. 
I'm gonna cancel all of Twitch. I'm canceling TwitchCon. I don't feel like going. I'm gonna push it off to next month. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not. Gidoki, let's get out of here. We come back. Ooh, a mean whilst. Thank you. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine. All mine. If only we had some nasty weather. Something's familiar about. If only we had nasty weather, huh? Something's familiar about this date. Why does something happen on this date? Some of the games are $20 and they're six, six years old. You gotta wait for the sales. Luckily, the early there's plenty of early ones which are cheap. Oh, it's a Max portrait. We just played a game with him. The late Max Addix. His <laughs> petard runneth over. His petard runneth over. A lamentable over. fate for such a patriotic dude. His petard runneth over? What's a petard? Petard. A small bomb. A kind of firework that explodes. A small bomb made of metal or wooden box filled with powder, used to blast down a door or to make a hole in the wall. He oh, like he exploded and died. Let's look at all these pictures. I like his burp. Hey, these Manifé. These look better on velvet. These look better on velvet. Look better on velvet. How about this guy here? No, look at the picture. Okay. Let's go in all the doors. Gotta find Red Edison. George sleeps here. Oh, it's George uh, Washington's bedroom. Bedroom. I bet it calls the butler, just like on TV. If I see Dan's Gaming and Kit Bog at TwitchCon, will I say hello? I'll probably be too shy to say hello to anyone at TwitchCon. Ooh, we messed up the bed. Okay, we messed up the bed. And then we use the cord. <laughs> it just bumps his... Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Then she works on it. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Made a big mess. Now we go outside and take her crap, right? Off the cart. Pick up the soap. Dunk! We just dunked. Now push the maid's cart out of here. No way. I'd be busted for sure. September 11th is Ludacris's birthday. That's what it is. Use the soap with the bucket the of water. The all sudsy now. Use the brush with the... Nothing to clean in here. We got the sudsy water. Dunk. Dunk. I dunk. told you guys I'll get to the flag next. That's I'm working as fast as I can. We need a good flag design for hey, her. Hey, chill. Take your time. Good. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design <laughs> change for the flag. It's the only option. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Chrome-plated bald eagle robot, a skull with scorpions. Can you say all of these? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. We gotta get a new pattern for the flag, but we don't have one. We don't have one. Can we pick up any of the other patterns? Gosh, I never want to mess with history. This would be a cool design, this one with the wavy line or the peace sign. wonder how that would uh, have changed the world. I couldn't sleep in here with a flag had a different racket. design. <laughs> Who asked you to? Nice day outside. <laughs> Sorry, no time for small talk. Okay. Come back to her later. Wonder if, yeah, I don't think Bagel will go to TwitchCon. No, probably not. If it doesn't stream, probably. You would love to see you two meet. Oh, me and Bagel. If wine bottle, if me and Bagel met, it would be the end of the universe, like the Christ and the Antichrist touch. Matter and antimatter touch. Everything would be destroyed. So you you would not love to see that. Ooh, kite plans. I don't understand that technical stuff. And I'll let you decide who's matter and who's antimatter. I don't want to. Say hi to Love Lust. Okay. You never notice the rocking chair? Yeah, it's Bowser's for your machine. Instead of having to use the pedal, let's open this drawer, baby. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Use Ben's bed. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin's room. Okay, there's kite plans. Oh, use the uh, plans, swap them out. Better not, that might invalidate the patent. Oh, I thought he would make him make it instead. Maybe that's not. We don't want to take these plants. 
Or you want to... I don't quite see how it can fly. We might want to change the kite plan somehow. All right, well, we've got Ben Franklin's room. Let's go downstairs again. I'd never want to mess with history, other than putting a bay, bikini bay with a brown axe on it. Here's the basement. So I am dumb. Bagel and me in the same room. Yeah, it would destroy time and space. I am the Antichrist. Uh, you figured it out. Joy. Welcome to the stream. I'm the Antichrist. It's covered with plans and junk. He's a great character, 8 bit. Alright, now let's. We found Red Edison. So we just have to give him the battery plants. Mm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oil, vinegar, and gold. I've got oil. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Now we need vinegar and gold. Is this vinegar? I think you... Chateau de Chipo, 1775. You possibly turned this into vinegar. I can't remember. Right, so yeah, Bagel is Jesus, if you didn't know. Bagel's Jesus, and he was corrupted by the evil of Twitch, and he had to leave. But I already am naturally evil, so that's why I will never quit. What am I supposed to do with that? Take up a lab coat. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Alright. Oh, left-handed hammer here. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. I don't think he is, Chaos Come. Hey, Purple Tentacle. You want to help help you overthrow Bernard? There should be a game where you play as the Purple Tentacle. So we get this lab coat, but only after we give him the vinegar and the gold. We got the left-handed hammer. I know what you do with it, but I don't remember why. It changes something in the future if you give it to the sculptor guy. Let's just go give that to him. Was that this room? What the heck room was that? Was that upstairs? I think that was upstairs, right? Upstairs. Uh, upstairs. And then we use the left-handed hammer with the right-handed hammer, and then it changes who holds the sword or something. It changes some sculpture. He can't use the hammer. He keeps missing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Bagel can't escape me. I've lost it. That game's called Your Life. Hmm. Tentacle emotes. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Oh no. The statue was I'm ruined. A failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. Oh. We Edisons are made to be scientists. No, I feel bad. Artists. Oh. Now they're gonna Dear be brother, scientists we instead must of be artists. Strong in these times of creative adversity. Guys, you. Why don't you let me take over for a while? There's someone who I'll has all tentacle emotes. That's over. cool. You relax. Have a cappuccino. <laughs> a cappuccino. It's so funny. I'm glad we switched places. Okay. So they switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. And it switched. So you never see why you do that. But you do something where she like gets flung out the door and she can grab onto the sword, but now she can't, so she just gets flung out the door. Something like that, I can't remember. But yeah, that's why you do that. I just remember that was pretty obvious. These dudes might get no way could I pick that up. A man he yeah. artists are lame. <laughs> it's a tough career being an artist. I mean, uh, take it from me. I'm a streaming artist. That's cool that someone has tentacle emotes. That's neat. Tentaliar. What does Tentaliar play? Tentalier. Alright, we, we normally you do this room earlier. There's a suggestion box. Uh, we did not do it until now. Let's look around. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. <laughs> okay, let's talk to everyone here. Let's save. Let me take a one minute. What are we? Eight percent. Let me take a one minute break and then we'll. One minute break and then we'll continue the amazing game. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back.
One minute break. One minute break, over. Streamer is returning. In three, two, one. Streamer is back. Be right back, screen is awesome. Agreed, thanks Gascom, you like it. Modern graphics, I know, these, ugh, these graphics, no good. All right, let's talk to John Hancock, Tommy Jefferson's plays a mix of modern and retro GameCube era stuff. Oh neat, I love GameCube. GameCube has, has a bunch of slam dunk games on it. Hey Gruntietus. Let's talk to John. Yo. He cold. Hello. He mad cold. What's up, you cold? What's up? Cold? What's up, you cold? I'm freezing. Something you call. Why don't you build a fire? One minute. Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Okay. Yeah, I pooped uh, ten, ten times in that minute, honey pun. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. So I gotta make him think that George is cold. What are you guys doing in here? So we can get that log or something. We're writing a... Make a fire. Uh, writing the... We are drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. Why is he so cold? Why is he so cold, but no one else is cold? Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't hey, stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. What? You never had cold brew, probably. Have you tried decaffeinated coffee? I'm talking about decaf. Yeah, probably never had cold brew. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. <laughs> That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big <laughs> signature. That's why you sign your name so big. Awesome blanket. Awesome blanket there, dude. Oh, right. Thank you. It was given to me by my d dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Hmm. Right, so we make them think George is cold, and then he gives us his blanket. Shouldn't you guys be working we instead use that of just for smoke signals? There? Writer's block. We use that we for can't smoke think signals. Think of any amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion <laughs> box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? Hmm. And we got to get a good idea for the uh, uh, Constitution too. You could guarantee the right to free speech. Hmm. Free speech? No, that'll never work. Well, Wonder why he's the cold go, one. Dude. 
Well, because, yeah, you know, some people just get colder than others, right? Like, I could go out in 45 degree weather with shorts and I feel pretty good. Not shorts and a short sleeve shirt, shorts and a sweatshirt and I feel fine. Other people, no, they couldn't do that. So everyone just has different. I'm always hot, some people are always cold. Someone gave you a muffin for free? Well, that sounds good, but what type of muffin, Ash? Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy, my name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, Voice of Kermit the, the Frog. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Thomas Jefferson. He, he slam dunked back in his day. There was a warning in the instruction manual that the game was historically inaccurate and that John Hancock didn't actually have astigmatism. Maybe they didn't want to have kids say the wrong facts in class. You get hot too easy? Me too, Neuromantic. I'm always hot all the time. All the time. Could you start a fire, please? That's why I like to wear shorts I love forever, to always. You, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. What you mean it's the only log? What are you talking about? What do you mean it's the only log? How can you let Hancock Cyanide suffer flavored like muffin? that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Uh -huh. A cyanide muffin? A muffin from Magnolia, it has cranberries and apple. Oh, I could get down with that. Hopefully it's nice and cakey and soft. Hey Ham, you could go out in 45 without freezing if it's 45 Celsius. Slam dunk, ow. I wear shorts all the time. <laughs> Donda goes only wear speedos. He's super duper hot. Has anyone ever told you you're a very <laughs> like snappy wear, dresser? Like, if I don't wear speedo, Why, I get too yes. hot. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Cravat. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Yo, thanks. Thomas. Oh, yeah, I prefer Tom. It's in the can, Tommy. What's in the can, Tommy? Time capsule. Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this my chubby friend is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Thomas, my name is Thomas. <laughs> so, how's the time capsule going? You'd rather be I'm nude. sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Put his log in there. Is that the Constitution Society frowns being nude? Put a speedo on like Tonda. Get a breathable mesh speedo. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Hey, I'm doing right great, now, thank you. It's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Doing great, thank you, Ham. How's uh how's the fam? You love how Hoagie refuses to call him Thomas, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Fundoshi's are ah, winter. <laughs> thank you. What was your favorite part? Well, warm need to be a little warmer in winter, so you put on a Fundoshi. What was my favorite part? The prudence? Like that the S's look like F's. I like those S's that look like F's. I see. This game's well, great. Later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> this game is great. I'm ha I'm real happy I'm finishing this again. Now it's time to talk to the man himself, George Wishington. Uh, excuse me. Speedo season. <laughs> Speedo season. Yes. Spe Speedo season, it's turning into Fundoshi season. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. He's got the, the, uh... Howl voice, Mr. Howl voice from uh, Gilligan's Island. That's a show that used to be on TV for all you young kids out there that don't know who that is. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? <gasps> How quaint. He knows, George Washington knows Hoagies. Mmm, Hoagie. Ham fan's doing well. Good. You're recovering from being ill. Ooh, but wife and baby are doing great. When you get sick when you have a kid, it makes it a hundred times worse. Hope you're recovering relatively quickly. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. Oh really? But as you can see, there isn't. 
I only cut down cherry trees. Look at this Family guy's head. tradition, you understand. Cherries Which guy's only. Head? There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. Oh, really? Well, if only there was a cherry tree outside, huh, Chad? If, but there isn't, so I guess we won't get to see him cut down a tree because there's no cherry tree men whilst. Just about done with this. Then I'm grabbing the latest flag design and sewing it up. We need to get then a flag design. Bye-bye, Betsy. We need to get a flag design up here for her ASAP. If only there was a cherry tree chat, but there isn't so, but oh, can we use this? Only there was a cherry tree. Use red paint on the... Make him... Uh, there isn't a cherry tree, but what if we made him think there was a cherry tree? Hmm? No way could I pick but that. But the red paint! I... Dunk. If only, Toka. You watched Gilligan? Who was your... Who was everyone's favorite Gilligan? Island character. Mine was obviously Marianne. Great character. The scientist. I was just kidding. Mine's the scientist. I'm not a disgusting pervert. My favorite character was the scientist because he could make cool stuff out of. He was like. It was kind of like MacGyver. You advised me not to paint the tree. Too late. I already painted it. And now we're going to advance towards stopping the purple tentacle. We're going to stop you. Uh, excuse me. Mary yes. <laughs> Yours was the dark smoke monster. That That's a different... That's that's a different show. I've been thinking about what you said that's about lost. cherry trees. Mine's Jack. <laughs> Pondering the great truth, eh? Well... Mine was the hatch. Yours was the island. <laughs> Marianne and the Professor. Yep, they were the best inks and issues. Your favorite was Ra Raul. Oh, I saw that episode with Raul. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down Team a Marianne. tree to Hashtag save your grandmother. Different island. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. Look out the window, but as bro. You can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Mm-hmm. Professor's well, like a puzzle. Chop the sucker down. MacGyver's like a puzzwiz. That's why I like them so much. Highlander is like a puzzwiz. <laughs> Look out for your hat. I said come down from there at once. Oh yeah, that's how Can you get I her down. Understand? I'm stuck in this. You cut down the tree, it never grew. That's why this game's so cool. It's got time travel stuff. <laughs> <laughs> got stuck in the concrete. Voila! You're quite a man. So now you can be her. Yes, I know. Dunk! Psh. You have confidence in your abilities. Good luck. It would have been cool if they put a, like a Gilligan's Island Easter egg in Lost. Like put a little hat or something. Put his little hat. Now the other thing you can do... But I don't know if you actually need to do something else first. I do remember this. We're getting close to where I got to uh, last time I played this on my Vita. A little bit of it on Vita. We use this. Now we wash this. We wash the carriage but I, to make it rain. Dum -de -dum. It makes it rain. Well, that was a quick pan. Washing the carriage. Looks like a big storm. Makes it rain. See, this is why I never wash my car. Because it always rains after you wash your car. Wait, he's going in with the kite? Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Where are you going? What about your experiment? Uh-huh. Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. <laughs> the science of electrodynamics... Much like your mind, apparently, be frank, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Hey, maybe he leaves something out in the field? I don't remember exactly why you get him to go inside. Uh, or maybe to get him to make a new kite? <laughs> yeah, he one chopped the trees. A slam dunk, uh, Axe cutter. Cherries are the only red thing that grows. I, I, anyone ever seen a cherry tree? I never have. I'm not sure if they're even real. Or if this is just a rumor. Cherry tree. Well, apparently they're real. Alright. You guys want to see a cherry tree? I thought maybe it was just a rumor, but apparently this is a real thing. Cherry tree. Alright, if you say so. 
I'd like to go cherry picking. <laughs> do we do anything out in the field or we gotta go meet him inside? Yo, catch me inside! Gilligan's Island hasn't been broadcasted in France. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, just sit right back in. La here is a tale, tale of a faithful trip. Smoke Monster is really Mr. Howell. <laughs> Ever seen this game? Really, Paranoid? Oh, it's great. It's one of the best adventure games. It's maybe the best adventure game, Paranoid. It's maybe the best. It's definitely top three. It's got to be top three, right? Of all, ga all games. All time. Right? Oh, and then... Okay. I got to get the teeth to get to Washington, and then I put the... I put the wine in the um, time capsule and then it turns into vinegar. Let me go see if we can talk to Benny. Oh, this is Georgie. Let's go talk to Benny. I've never seen a, seen a cherry tree in my animes. I saw a cherry blossom tree, but that's not a cherry tree. It only had blossoms on it. It didn't have full cherries. It had blossoms, which reminds me of my favorite TV show, Blossom. I don't know about a future. Is anybody's Hi. guess? Sorry, can't what a dick talk. chopping down pink trees. History? What a freaking dick. Use the letter with Ben Franklin. I don't wanna. Use the letter with kite plants. I don't wanna. Pick up his kite plants. I don't understand that technical stuff. Okay, well, I'm stuck. I actually don't know what to do right now. So I'm gonna switch over to my girl. Get me out of here. Laverne. I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, you would you? You a crab apple tree. You used to throw You'd people cool. The lobby with Never tried to come quite neither. Getting dressed up for the human Never show. Never tried to come quite. Rubik. Owner? No one owns me. I've got pine Gosh, on. no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. That voice sounds familiar. Damn Rubik. That, Dr. Cherry trees are like Bigfoot, they don't hey, exist. I didn't know that. The Edison family motto. So they aren't real. Alright, let's switch to Bernard. I don't feel like doing So as soon as part. Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. We need a diamond. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Yes. Alive? The Gilligan's Island theme was written by John Williams. Who's that? You try to play this game once a year, Pizza Spider? I can see that. It's just a great game. It's a dunk. It's a, it's a real dunk. Apologize for saying slam dunk so much. Cherry Blossom Tree is a cherry tree. <laughs> I don't think so. As Tina Turner said, simply the best, better than all the rest. I don't know how it goes. So what do we have in our inventory? We have a dime, we have the bank book, we've got the booba be gone. We might use that on the Declaration of Independence. Help wanted? Help wanted to give someone a job, and the flyer it's is... It's from George's Hardware. George's Hardware. George says that every American okay, should have a use vacuum this. cleaner in their basement. Or toilet. Okay, I flushed it. Every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. And you want to use that as a um, suggestion in the suggestion box? Yeah, I think this is where... I start to not remember the solutions as much, this part. Those are the easy solutions. You have to mail something. I don't know why. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Who do we want to go to Baltimore? Hey, Baltimore. In your opinionation, the sun is going to surely sign. I like your positivity, Tonda. Whoa. Now pick up the flyer in the toilet. And I know we put that in there for some reason. Also, maybe I need to get into the outhouse. Can opener. Kumquats is like a seed sweet citrus. I've never had a kumquat either. The voices are a slam dunk purple. They look like tiny oranges. Kumquat. That's such a disgusting perverted name though. <laughs> I don't remember Maniac Mansion TV. Yes, and it wasn't anything like the game. They just used like the... Yeah, and it had a really weird... It was really awful. It didn't only have, like, just Dr. Fred, but it wasn't anything like the... Let's take a look at one of those episodes. I remember we looked at it a while back. It didn't use it... Like, it had nothing to do with the with the actual... Here's the TV series... Commercial. It looks creepy. Okay, season three, episode one. Wait, there was three seasons of this? Let's take a quick look at it. Maniac Mansion. 
family channel. The family channel. It was on the family channel. Man, look at these old TV graphics, the best. I can do it myself. Is this the actual? Oh, this is weird. It's just that mommy's here if you need her. I'm old enough. Okay, well, it's just that. No! Is this the actual show? Right. Oh, Game Boy. Gaming. Guys are gone. Challenge. Where's the challenge? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not Where's the challenge? Ladies are gone. A slight retrofusion. Nature's way, unless the child happens to be. You don't have to go to the chrono. You can just drag the thing to the people. I mean, no okay. disrespect to the little people. I consider Billy Marty pound for pound one of okay. the best entertainers we've got. This is. This is horrible. Could this have been even any worse? Who from this show is in the actual game? Who from the game is in the show? They just use the- what they do, buy the title? Was that Weird Ed? This is creeping me out too much. Okay, so I can just drag to the characters? That's cool. That makes it easier, thank you. Slight red show. This is too creepy. Too creepy for a meepy. Okay, the flyer we put in here, so now everyone have a vacuum in their basement. In the future. Or in Bernard's time, maybe? <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Laser Maybe beam. somebody should take a look. Been quite a while here, walking a world where all the steps I were say my that own. I have an idea. Hey, Mirax. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? That was weird no. and awful. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, okay, George. whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. All the steps were my own. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. Wonderful. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Dunk. What do you think, gentlemen? Just weird it, yeah. There is no link, I guess, Serenia. Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. And then... Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. <laughs> so now there's gonna be a vacuum, cleaner? vacuum in the future. Now, that appears in Bernard's time, but you suck. George Buzza was also on the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids show. Really? So let's go into Bernard's time. And see, let's see what we can do over here. Now, I vaguely remember you use the dime and send it into the future. And you sell it, or it's something with the dime. His coffee. You need to take his coffee. You need to do something to his coffee. Give him de- Oh, there's a ton to do as Bernard. I think you have to do a bunch of stuff as the other characters before you can do things as... Lavlaine. Wait, where was that? Yeah, you get... Let me, let's talk to Dr. Fred. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Hey, Dr. Fred! What kind of vacuum cleaner do I have in my basement? Um... I don't have one, actually. I'm breaking the law. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? <laughs> no diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! That's it's bad. a dark day for mad science. That's bad. Okay. I guess I'll have to go save the world myself then. Good Breaking luck. The law. Good luck arresting me. You'll never be able to find me. If you find me, you'll never be able to arrest me. I'll never go alive. I'm not going to jail alive. You'll never take me alive. 
Or you won't be alive. Okay, now where the heck... That was the basement, so where the heck was the vacuum? Hmm, maybe it's out through here. There's a lot to do as Bernard. A whole lot. Let's open this grating. Open the fireplace. It doesn't seem open to open. the grating. Look in the grating. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Okay, Uzu the clown. This part's funny. I'd rather not. <laughs> they push him. Punches him. <laughs> I hate uh, that clown. Uh. All right, we hey got. Hey, boy, you missed the party. It's modern Ben Franklin. You and the clown were having a party. It's a novelty inventor. No, no, last night at the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention. <laughs> I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time. What would Ben Franklin be in the modern day? Oh, he'd be a novelty goods inventor that you'd find in the back of old magazines. So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. So, oh, want a cigar? Sure. Sure, lay one of those Havana sure. babies on me. Bernard is great. Bernard is the most loved character in Maniac Mansion for sure. Purple Tentacle. Thought I was gonna you won't blow be your head no. off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! <laughs> Another art! Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> Look at him laughing at us. Pixel art is so you good. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. <laughs> gotcha. That's that was what Ben Franklin would be today. That cracks me. Or at least up in the nineties. What would he be today? He'd be an app. He'd be an, a, a rich app developer. We got more Ann art. That's so good. That should be. That should be in La Louvre. I swear. That's so good, Ann. Send that to Tim of Legend. He'd like that. Tim Schaefer would like that. Hands off, boy! Could get that? That's a precision-made novelty device. Cigar lighter. Cigar salesman. Oh, we can pick up the chattering teeth. Hey! Give me those teeth. Give me. Oh, we gotta catch him in the. Uh, mist. We gotta mist. We gotta catch him in the. Uh, great. Then we can get him. Push it in there, slam dunk. Teeth for me. Then so then in this version I can just do this. I'll just run to the chronogon. Alright, you guys. Real quick. There's something in the chronogon. Cool. In the dank section of the museum, yeah. Okay, nice. Is that was that only something you could do in this version? Use chattering teeth. Okay, let me try giving these to George Washington. Or, oh no, I remember what you have to do. We also have to get a cigar to get his teeth to blow out. And then you give him the chattering teeth instead. So we do have to get a cigar. Can, but, maybe. But, can I just get a cigar? Maybe it's in his room. Because he has a room upstairs. Franklin stole a lot of inventions, you think? I've never heard that. I thought that was just Thomas Edison. It's on the old version too? Okay. Nice. Like people complain about how much it takes time to send items. I didn't remember that. Maybe some people just never try it. Or they don't read the manual if it's in the manual. Disgusting. I would like to read the original manual for this. Maybe you, oh, you, maybe you swap out the gun. Swap out the gun with something. Let's go, let's go back here. There's a lot to do in this version of the mansion. Swinging door. Pick up the fork. Pick up that fork. Coffee. You use the decaf coffee with the regular never coffee. Never mix, never worry. You swap them out. Pick up the regular coffee. Pick up the decaf coffee. Use the decaf with... Never mix, never worry. Just put the decaf coffee back here. Hmm. You have to do something to get... Ed... Dr. Fred to drink decaf and then he passes out. I remember that too. I remember the basics. Once we get past the I'm 50% not, point, not, I won't, not, I won't. Not, 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 to not, to not, to not, to not, to not, uh-oh. These, 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 these,
Can't save in the middle of that. Have History of leakage. Ay ay ay. What was that all about? Save here. Sixteen <laughs> percent. The game doesn't tell you. The manual might tell you. I'm big on manuals. Microwave. Let's put a hamster in the microwave. <laughs> the remix. This is the this is the remix version. Okay, we get the dime for this. But I don't know what you dry. I'm gonna dry something. I don't remember what you dry. Let's open this cabinet. What in there? Funnel? Okay, pick up there. Funnel. Pick up that there funnel there. Yeah, use the funnel on the... I'm not sure I like that idea. I forget uh, how you swap the coffee. Either that or you just pour him decaf. Let's look at the washer. Broken. It looks pretty broke, 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 broken. It looks pretty broke, broke, broken. The remix! <laughs> Rash is tailcaping back with the police. Triangular man spotted at scene. He starts taking over the world by tipping cows. I love these little interludes. It's so good. This game is just... It's a real master class of adventure games. It really is. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and use that cliche term master class. The chat room chief. Let's go up the um, fireplace. <laughs> Rave to the sounds. <laughs> broke, broke, broke. Get out of here, autosave. Use crank. And a flag. I don't have a flag. I don't think I can do anything else. Let's go in the window. I can't. It's stuck. How about this window? Go in this window. Oh, there's two windows. Look at this bed. It's not exactly the Ritz. We gotta unstuck that window. How do you unstuck it? Fork or a crowbar? Use the bed. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. It is one of the best ones, for sure. Look at the peephole. Look at it. I bet there are better decorated rooms in prison. Can we get in there or is it locked? Why is there a peephole? Oh. Hmm, why would you have a peephole? Close the door. And then use the peephole. I'd rather not. Oh, I think you peep at people that come into that other room later. Okay, let's open this trip. As soon as he gets interrogated here. I don't know why he's on with the deal with the peephole. Yeah, let's go downstairs. Bum, bum, bum. Weird Edna. We're gonna get to Edna, who's a lot goofier in this game than she is in Maniac Mansion, where she's super creepy. And she doesn't have her love bed. Or she might have her love bed in a different room, I can't remember. Is this Ed's room? This is Ed's room. Hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? He kills Why, you. yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. <laughs> mm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you microwave his hamsters, he catches you, I think, right? Or he kills you. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? He blacked it out, luckily. All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots. Like his now voice. I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. <laughs> I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Good, he's all now calm. I collect stamps. He calmed down. Now I collect stamps, good. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> they mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. So a hamster with spots. He's got a stamp collections. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. <laughs> Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. <laughs> okay, good. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. 
Peace be with you. Let's play Maniac Mansion. You can play it here. Maniac Man Maniac Mansion. We did horrible things to him. Jeepers! Jeepers! The best characters you always want to be Bernard. And you have to be Dave. Razor and Bernard? Lead singer for the punk band Razor and the Scummits. Jeff usually hangs out on the beach, responds to the name Surfer Dude. He was a fun character. I like to be him. Always Bernard and... I think I typically chose Jeff and Bernard. Sid was not cool, though. He's a magis musician trying to start his own new wave band. Michael, award-winning photographer, the college newspaper. Boring. Wendy wants to be a novelist and waiting for a big break. Boring. Bernard, winner of the college's Geek Award. Slam dunk. Razor, lead singer for the punk band Razor and the Scum at Slam dunk. Let's hear the intro. Is the music in the intro? Because it's so good. Meteorite. Beat Sam and Max earlier, yeah, Legion. Michael says the best music, he do? You need a roser or you can't explode the hamster. Oh, only Razor will let you kill a hamster? Oh. The NES version is I heard is one is like the best one. Maniac Mansion. This game was a lot scarier back in the day. It was really scary and creepy. It really had a really good atmosphere. Sure, I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. Dr. Fred kidnapped Dave's girlfriend. And we had to get we gotta get her out. This could be real dangerous. If anyone wants to back out. Okay, I'm out of here, Bernard goes to leave. <laughs> Bernard, don't be a tuna head. It's Sandy we're talking about. The best, the coolest thing about this game is how, depending on which combin- I heard Dr. Fred's kinda cute. Depending on which combination of characters you chose, you would get different endings. Really awesome, and I'm surprised there haven't been more games that like this, in this way. Just the way the characters walk and everything, it all just fits so well. But yeah, there was this game, there's this game on Steam, which I'm pretty sure if anybody knew about, I think it just rips off the graphics, but like changes the clothing and stuff. But it's uh, it's like you're in a haunted mansion. It look it looks like it might be neat, worth playing, even though it totally steals the graphics, like literally just steals the sprites. Pick up bushes. You got to move the bushes and then open the grate. You can't budge it; it's rusted shut. Well, this is Maniac Mansion. Anyway, if you've never seen it, it's a real good game. Here, I'll spoil it. You pick up the doormat. There's a key under here. I remember a lot about this game, too, but... it's This game's tough to beat, if I remember correctly. We should play this game someday. Front door. Well, I'm about to show you a secret, kids. Use gargoyle. Push gargoyle. Look what I just showed you, kids. Slam dunk. It opens this door. You need a badass to kill the hamster? See? Now that's how you get at it. I'm gonna spoil it. That's how you get out of the dungeon. I think. I don't remember what's in here. But you gotta have a kid stand here. You gotta push this gargoyle. Okay, and then switch to new kid. Uh, Razor. Razor's just a kid. Sound is better on Atari. Yeah, that was like not the best version of the song, but it still is pretty good. And the NES version supposedly has like the most gameplay out of all the versions. I don't know if if any other version has the same stuff, but the NES version is is a good, very good version. Oh, I have no lights. You have to look for the switch, right? Like turn on. Oh, where well, my dear? I hope you're having fun. That's Sandy, Dave's girlfriend. Why is the streamer always in the game within the game? Within minutes, it'll be all over. That's the original Doctor Fred. You'll be hooked up to my machine, getting a pretty brain sucked out. If this game's like a, a B-movie. This meteorite hits and, like, takes over Dr. Fred, makes him nuts. You'll never get away with this. I would actually love to play this game. Dave and his friends will rescue me. But probably not right now. You and your meteor can eat slime. We should... I'll make a save. That's what she thinks. This was so creepy when it came out. Help, help, help. 
you heard about this but never played it Nerman. oh it's a great game there's uh it has a lot of really cool mechanics turn on nuclear reactor there's a switch somewhere it's a lot of like clicking around here light switch found it turn on light switch go found it yeah it's uh it's a very cool game the way it works it's it doesn't really hold your hand yeah i'm not touching that i think you can get dead ended but um yeah it's very cool uh how do i get out of it i i guess i'll i don't really need to save we could we could go back there at any time and play this if we want to play this game or just play the original version let's exit oh that's me egg mansion awesome game NES version, the characters have portable CD players and each has their own theme songs. Oh, wow. Yeah, probably not, Manafe, but I would like to play that game now, now that I was clicking around in it. Bernard, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's nasty. Dude, what did you do with that? You got a booger hand. The DOS version? I guess. I guess. I don't know what version it is. Let's look at this hamster. He's reading the Wall Street <laughs> Journal. Can we talk to him? I should try to play that game, because... I don't remember a lot about... I remember some of the secrets, but I don't remember how to actually finish the game. And I think it's it's easy to dead end. We'll finish talking to Ed. We have to get his stamp album somehow. And this guy's in and he's creepy, and Nurse Edna is even creepier too. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...happened to him. Yeah. You got put in the, yeah. Uh, should we keep asking him about it? What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, <laughs> all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. He got microwaved. It's canon that the hamster got microwaved. What was the horrible sound? <laughs> it was sort of like... <laughs> ding. Oh God. I hear it in my dreams till this day. The ding of the microwave. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. Ah, oh, the hamster but then wheel. Then he starts sweating, hmm. and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your sweating. dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? Uh-oh. No, I... Don't make fun of him. They'll get mad. I get upset when people make fun of me. I'm not making I fun of you. I just Oh, it makes me so mad. I'm not making fun I of you. I just want to... No, I'm not making relax. fun of you. I want to relax. I'll be okay. Sean. I'll just focus on my stamps. John, thank you for the gift sub. Enjoy Purple Tentacle. Thank you so much, John. Two gift subs. Thank you for your support, John. Thanks for supporting the stream. Enhanced version of Mike Maniac Mansion for DOS that has better music. Cool. I have to look for that. I'll look for the best version of Maniac Mansion and we'll play that. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? You can collect the dead hamster I and show it to him. I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. And he catches you. If anything were ever to happen to them. So his stamps are his best friends. Well, hope I didn't he get you too excited. Stamps, or else he freaks Bye. out. Peace be with you. Yikes, but I think we need to get the hamster for the hamster wheel. We pick up the hamster when he's not looking. We have to do something to make him happy. Oh, I just took the hamster. Oh, okay. Cute little fella. That oh, was easy as picking up the hamster. Give me that Give me that uh, stamp album, too. Hey, <laughs> don't to touch my him. stamps. Just finished the dig, Manafe, for the second time in 212 years. It's fun um, to get the nostalgic feelings. It's the same with this. It's, been, it's fun to play old games that you love, but you don't remember why, and then play them at a different time in your life, for sure. I would play, replay The Dig again at some point. Played it a few years ago, for the first time. Yeah, now you, now you have Hard Hat Cat, the most confusing emote on Twitch. So we have, we got the hamster. Let's go see what we can do with Edna here. You, I forget, you have, oh, you look at, um... The combination. Okay, I, we don't need to do anything with her yet. I remember what you do now. Uh, let me go. Let me go see if we can do that though. Um, let's not mess with this. Let's not mess with any of this right now. Let's go see if we can do the um, Ed part, the uh, Fred part, the Fred part. Ice machine. Pick up ice. I don't think I can pick that up. Okay, there's ice. But I just remembered something that maybe we can do. If we go in the basement, what's a slam dunk? It's just a good thing. It's a slam dunk. You just slam dunk. You did something great. You know? 
You slam dunked. Ah. Behind the back, you know? Okay. Use decaf with his mug. Give him decaf. Have some coffee, partner. Mm, thanks. Refresh, I little refresher. Pick me up. Refresh on that coffee, pal. Mm -hmm. Then he sleepwalks. <laughs> must open safe. So now he must open must the safe. Sign contract. Must sign must the contract. Must for open family. safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. He's got to sign the contract. Something or other. I don't know what he's talking about. Put the hamster in the hamster generator. Oh, we, oh yeah. Ooh, look at him go. We got power. We can do it later. All right, now. He goes into, uh, he goes to open the safe, but we watch in here. We're playing so many games you missed on stream. That's, it's one of the best, most fun things for me to do on stream. I guess that's why I started this channel. To play old games that I thought are really cool, that most people don't really play on the channel, on this twitch.television.com. Three mile walk, nice Zordon, nice. Excellent. Slam dunk, that's a slam dunk. Tacos are a slam dunk, right. Meatball subs are a slam dunk. All right, so now, I think you just push her out because you switch the statue so she can't grab it. I think you just push her. You just kick her out. <laughs> and now she can't grab onto the sword. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. For low wings, I'm starting to get hungry. So now you can look at Ed, um, Fred, his combination, Razor, thanks for the follow. 57. Okay, hold on. I gotta record it, I think, actually. There's no tape in the machine. Oh, I need a tape. I think you actually need the tape. 57? Oh, just 57. There's no there's no tape in the machine. There's, ah, there's no tape in the machine. There's no tape in the machine. Oh, I need a tape, I think. I think you need a tape. Crap. Okay, stop. There's no tape in the machine. Got it. Crap, we need a tape. Can we look at the other monitors? Something strange is going on in there. Oh, that room. I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Oh, you have the lower half camera <laughs> from this stream. Look at this poster. Sexy. That, oh, there's a poster of me. Ooh, baby, what a man. A few LucasArts games I'll never forget. Indiana Jones 4. Indiana Jones 4? Uh, Atlantis? Is that it? Which one's 4? Monkey Island 2 and Day of the Tentacle. A lot of the yeah, a no, lot of the solutions Edna get ingrained in your back, mind. She scares me. For sure, pick up the. Oh, can I pick up the Elvis photo? And that's their ancient son. All right, so we have to get a tape or look at VCR. There's no tape in there. We need to get a tape. I don't think I can pick that up. So we come back later with a tape. I'm trying to get in shape. Nice. It start. It's you got to start. Got to start somewhere. Keep it up. I just uh, tell myself, sometimes I get tired, I don't want to go to the gym, but I tell myself it's worth like an hour for like three or four days a week to feel better about yourself like 100% of the time. That's my frame of mind that I use. If you just do like, it doesn't even, you don't have to work out for hours. Like make, trying to eat a little better and put four or five hours in a week, you know, something like that or whatever you have time to do. And you'll feel better about yourself 100% of the time. It's definitely worth it to me. No tape. No tape. Atlantis is four. We just played that. That was, that was fun. Huh. Sleeping conventioner. Television. Sweater. That's what I'm telling myself when I don't feel like going to the gym. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Edison boys is a bang up job on that station. Pick up the phone. Don't I talk don't like have that. time for that now. I'm on a mission. Cedric, it was Cedric on the wall. You get bored if you spend more than an hour at the gym, so you go twice, four days a week. Oh, really? Twice, four days a week? Hmm. Hmm. Two hours? I'm, I usually do maybe an hour, hour 15 minutes. That's about it. I need to do more cardio, but I've been trying to put do cardio in on the same days as my lifting. Do some rowing as cardio. You lose weight to gain it back for the holidays. <laughs> That's what you say when you think you can't eat another taco. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it spat the bead back out. Oh, God. That was fun to play, though. 
I see a wall. I see dirt. It's about the bead bag out. I see a wall. I see dirt. Oh, I think you need the coin for this to make him move off the sweater. Can we use the tight TV? Reef Guzzler, this you're at the gym. This beautiful 4,000 awesome. carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. Ah. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Need a lot of money. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And then we buy the diamond at 1-800-STAR-WARS. Okay, it's all coming together here, but we need the coin. You split the cardio and lifting. Works if you live close. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't really... I'd rather just do it all in one one stretch. But that's good. You do cardio and lifting. I'm try, I try to put it all together. Do a little cardio every time I go. And I need to add some more cardio into my, into my uh, workout routine for sure. You never want to go to the gym, but you sleep good after you do. You feel, you feel good and you feel good at resting afterwards, Serenia. Hey, Richard. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Two things you think, Richard. You'll go there and do whatever you want when you get there, right? Just go there and do something. And what else are you really doing, right? I mean, what else is better than making yourself a little bit healthier? Not much. Not too much. Compressed discs. Yeah, that's tough. That's, it's that's what makes it tough. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Don't worry. How appropriate. Don't worry. I like how there's um, versions of the characters in every time period. Don't worry. <sighs> there's a fake gun. I can't even do this right. Hey, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I agree. One of the best adventure games. Let's take this disappearing ink. Can I get that flag gun? It's Dr. Dwayne. How do I cheer this guy up? He's John Hancock, right? The cold guy? Do rowing. That's what I do. I do the rowing. I love rowing. I, I, I used to, like, uh, I got this rowing machine from my uncle when I was, like, early, uh, like, mid-teens. And I would just row all the time, and I think that helped me to stay in shape. Because that's what I had. Ever heard Night of the Meteor? No, Mighty Morphin. A, fa a fan-made remake of Maniac Mansion, done in the graphical style of the Day of the Tentacle. No, I'll have to look into that. I was just thinking about playing Maniac Mansion. Cardio is hard to stop. I hate running. I really do. Just running is just annoying. Running is what makes me bored, so I have to find other things to do. Lost 180 pounds? Wow, congrats, Zordon. That's amazing. Stuck at 260. You'll get there. You'll get there for sure. That's tough when you plateau. Just gotta keep pushing through, I guess. You walked to your studio. Oh, cool. Your What's kind of studio near Mantic where you work? 3.5 miles there and back. That's, that's a good amount. The longer you're working out, the less effective you are. I try to do yeah, a shorter, more effective workout. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, thank you for following. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. What's better, to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the laments of their women? What's better? Mm hmm it's the first couple weeks, Reef Buzzer, and then you get into a habit, and it makes you look forward to it more. But then, you know, everyone has different um, paths to success with that. It can be quite difficult even after first weeks, months. Let's discuss philosophy. Weeks or months or years. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. <laughs> Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Oh, I give him a... Um... Hi, Patent? my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> Dwayne's depressing. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Calisthenics. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? A painting studio. Oh, cool. I what do you paint? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Or what do you do there? Nobody liked it. Nermantic. Ugh. Swimming is great, too. I'd like to do swimming. Yeah, I like to do things that aren't running. Um, we used to do MMA. That was really great. Uh, um, rowing. Swimming, I did briefly, but now I don't have a pool to go to. Maybe my next gym will. Running is just like, oh, it's the most boring thing ever. Maybe some and calisthenics It, it doesn't help. feel great. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. 
Unless you're okay, running in an interesting area, you you're running in a don't city. Don't worry or... about it. I'd only get depressed again. It's boring to run on a treadmill. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, running for a set amount of time is boring. Just running outside is, is a lot is a lot nicer. That's true. Carbs make you depressed. Carbs do not make me depressed. Maybe afterward. Um, give him. And you have to give him an invent give him the help wanted sign. Go away! I'm busy moping. Forget how I cheer Go him up. Go away! I'm busy moping. You cheer him up. Disappearing ink to. Go away! I'm busy moping. I don't remember what you do with him yet, but you get that gun, and it has something to do with getting the cigar. But I don't remember. And do can I push the candy machine? It won't budge. Pull the candy machine. It won't budge. Use candy machine. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Beef squiggly candy? It's not a slam dunk. Green! Bernard. Who's kicking at 72? What are you doing oh, up here? Oh, it's a green tentacle! Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Dr. Fred don't yeah. know you up here. Hey. Hey. What's up, Bernard? Hey. Well, see you later. Yeah. Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Oh, I know how to get the barf. We push this, but we're not going to do it now. Because we have reached the end of the stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for supporting the channel. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. But the stream is over. We are not installing a new game anymore. I have to leave. I will be back Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday with more games. We'll finish Day of the Tentacle and then we'll either start a new Nancy Drew game, Broken Sword games, Journeyman Project games. That's right. Here's my socials in the chat. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, our Discord, a Steam notification group for the streams. And as always, you can follow the channel and turn on...